Welcome everybody to this WCAL championship game here in San Francisco, California on the campus of St. Ignatius High School. It's the home Wildcats of SI versus the visiting Gators of Sacred Heart Prep from Atherton, California. I'm Michael Sachs alongside and the faceoff is underway here in this championship game between the top seeded Wildcats and the second seeded Gators. A rematch from nine days ago in Atherton that was taken by then the visiting Wildcats so they have home field advantage here this afternoon in front of a great crowd plenty of fans from both teams a sun splashed afternoon here in the Sunset District in San Francisco pleasure to have you with us wherever you are the Wildcats win the opening faceoff and have the first possession of the game here the senior captain Cody Weeb in net for the visiting Gators of SHP Here you see the Wildcats trying to work it around. Looking for the first shot of the afternoon. And there it is, the first shot by the Wildcats. Number four, Sam Parkinson slings it wide, backed up by the Wildcats. These are the top two teams in the Bay Area, the top two teams in Northern California, and really two of the top teams in the entire western portion of the United States. There's another shot there goes wide. We have a race for it. Possession stays with the Wildcats. Wildcats coached by Chris Packard. Gators coached by Chris Rotelli. Jack Robertson, number five, with the ball at the X. Slings it over to Parkinson. Defended by Cav Williams, number 24 in Maroon. There's Beck Anderson on defense, the defensive midi, number 33 in maroon. And you see Paul Barton on the ball here, number 18 in the visiting maroon. Both of these teams, excellent on both sides of the ball. Both can score, both can defend, both have great goalkeepers, both have great face-off men. Should be a fantastic game here for the championship of the WCAL. Wildcats looking for their third shot here. And there it is, and it's saved by Weeb. His first save of the game. And Weeb and the Gators look to clear it up the field. Pressured. Ground ball. Scooped by SI and drilled out of bounds there by number eight, Will Peterson. It's going to be Gator possession, and here we go with the Gators, their first possession of the afternoon. As they settle into their regular half-court set, keep your eye on number seven, the senior captain, Tommy Barnes, the leading goal scorer in the history of this SHP program. Also has the top scoring season in the history of this SHP program. He's the focal point of the Gator offense and will be the focal point of the SI defense. When they played nine days ago, the Wildcats were very intent on stopping him and did a great job all game. It'll be interesting to see how they strategize against number seven Barnes this afternoon. And there we see the first shot by the Gators. It's saved there by Mario Hemmen, backed up by the Gators and they maintain possession. There is number two, Larry Hart, the senior, swings it over to the sophomore, Billy Barnes. B two Barnes brothers here, the sophomore Barnes, number six, and the senior Tommy, number seven, who's we have a whistle. Is it a clock issue? We think it's a clock issue here as the referees try to sort it out. Clock shows 9.55 remaining. We think it should be 8.39. That's what we have it as, as you see it on their screen. You can't, if you're watching here at home or wherever you are, it says 9.55 on the stadium scoreboard. As we're here at J.B. Murphy Field, again on the campus of St. Ignatius in the Sunset District of San Francisco, California. Beautiful afternoon here. You see the Pacific Ocean beyond us here at Ocean Beach. Just a gorgeous setting for this WCAL championship game. There's number 12, Will Weisel. Here's Barnes, Billy Barnes, looks to shoot and does, but it's bounced over the net and backed up by his brother Tommy. Still Gator ball. 
the clock's the clock is frozen here at 9:55. So I'm not sure what the officials are going to do about that. But the Gators turn it over, and here come the Wildcats on the break. They sling it over to Robertson, Jack Robertson. And there's a shot by Colin Niehaus, sails wide, backed up by the Wildcats. I have to think that the officials are keeping the official time on the field because this clock is still stopped. So here we see a great check by the Gators, a ground ball, and the Gators come up with it. And they're on the move down the middle of the field. Here's Barnes to Ramsey, who scores the first goal of the game. And the Gators have a 1-0 lead on the strength of the goal by number nine, the sophomore, Ben Ramsey, off the feed from the senior, Tommy Barnes. Here you see the replay. Ground ball feeds a fast break by SHP. And instead of shooting it, Barnes dumps it to Ramsey. There's no defender there. He beats Hemin Lowe for the first goal of the afternoon. When these two teams played nine days ago in Atherton, SHP took a 2-0 lead in that game, and then SI tied it at two. The Wildcats ended up winning by one goal, 8-7, and in doing so, got the top seed, and that's why we're playing here in San Francisco this afternoon and not down south on the peninsula in Atherton. As Joey Dahlkemper wins his own faceoff and shoots, but it's checked out of his stick, and here come the Wildcats going the other way, but a big challenge there by the Gators. It's back to the visiting Gators. The freshman, Max Sloat, with the ball in his stick, number 26, cycles it to Barnes. Sloat had five goals in the semifinal game on Wednesday against Bellerman, as did Tommy Barnes. They led the way for the Gators into this championship game. SI got here by beating the Menlo School on Wednesday. So both these teams, have, this is their third game of the week, the quarters on Monday, semis on Wednesday, and here we are at the championship today as we see another left-handed slingshot by Billy Barnes sails wide, but his brother backs it up. So SHP with an early 1-0 goal, 1-0 lead here, I should say. We're coming up 6.45 to play in the first quarter. And that's going to go against SHP. Possession goes back to SI. Gators challenging every clear here as they get another turnover here. That's the senior defenseman John Carter coming up the left sideline. He passes it up to Ramsey, who loses it momentarily and gets it back. Double team coming. They check it out. And the Wildcats have it again on the far sideline. Both benches extremely animated. These are two big rivals and obviously a big time championship game. Both teams want this very badly, as you can imagine. Gators just tenacious on D, and there's Larry Hart scooping it. And he's going the other way, down the middle of the field. He shoots, he scores! 2-0 Gators on the shot by the senior Larry Hart. And the Gators have a 2-0 lead, just as they did nine days ago down in Atherton. So the Gators are challenging everything on both ends of the field here. Very aggressive attacking style so far by SHP as we take another look here. Hart scoops it at about the 27-yard line, and he goes all the way down the field, racing. And with room, he shoots it and beats Hemmen, who feels like he should have had it, and it's 2-0. Sacred Heart Prep. Face-off now by Joey Dahlkamper of the visiting Gators. And Dahl Camper wins it again on the faceoff with number 18, Garrett Hawthorne. Both Hawthorne and Lance Sell can take faceoffs for SI. There's Max Sloat with the ball, took a licking. Alex Bean came up with it, and we have a whistle. And I think we're going to have a timeout here. Yep. Coach Chris Rotelli, the head coach of the Gators, takes a timeout to keep possession, his first of two first half timeouts. And we'll take one with him right here. It's 2 0 Gators early here at SI.
Welcome back here to San Francisco, California on the campus of St. Ignatius. We've got the WCAL Boys Lacrosse Championship game between the visiting Gators of Sacred Heart Prep and the home Wildcats of St. Ignatius. Michael Sachs alongside with you. Pleasure to have you with us wherever you are here in the worldwide internet. We've got a great game here this afternoon between two of the West Coast top high school boys lacrosse teams. SHP is taking a 2-0 lead here early and have the ball here on the right side of the field as they look to score again and make it 3-0. We've got about 5.14 to play here in the first quarter as Larry Hart shoots and scores for his second goal of the game and it gives SHP a 3-0 lead. So the senior... Hart, his last high school game this afternoon, and he's making the most of it with two goals here already. Here he is at the top. They cycle it back to him at the top. A great look there by Ramsey. And Hart, with time and room, buries it past Mario Hemmen. And the Gators have a 3-0 lead here in this championship game. Here's Dahl Camper back at the faceoff X for SHP. And Garrett Hawthorne for SI. A scramble for possession. And the Wildcats come up with it. We have a whistle and a timeout by the Wildcats. Coach Chris Packard takes his first of the afternoon, and I'm going to take one with him. It's 3-0 SHP over SI. Welcome back to San Francisco, California. Wildcats coach Chris Packard took a timeout there to keep possession. He didn't want to turn it over, already down three. So here come the Wildcats on the attack. Both coaches taking their first timeout of the afternoon here. You get, each coach gets two per half, four for the game. They can't carry over. Here comes the Wildcats looking for their first goal of the afternoon. SI, top seeded in this tournament. SHP the second seed. So you saw Cav Williams fight through that screen aggressively. The Gators have just been like a, a pack of angry animals here early this afternoon. All over every ball, all over every ground ball, racing up and down the field. Wanting to avenge the loss that they suffered at home nine days ago. Wanting to win their second straight WCAL championship game. These seniors for the Gators have never lost a playoff game in their four-year tenure here for the Gators. There you see Sam Parkinson with it at the top as he slings it high over the net, over the goaltender Cody Weeb but it's backed up by SI and they still have possession. 3.42 remaining to play in the opening quarter. Wildcats trailing 3-0. There you see an errant pass, but it's picked right up by Mark Stevens, one of the Wildcats' top players. He swings it over to Holden Arnett Zhang, number eight in white, defended by Anderson. Zhang takes a shot into the side of the net and Weeb scoops it and looks to clear. He gives it to Paul Barton, who kicks it up. Here come the Gators again, already with a three-goal lead. Barnes to Hart, who has the last two goals for the Gators. Go, 
substitutions for both squads, getting their six players they want here in the half-court set. Hart, defended by Niehaus. Here's Weisel, defended by Stevens. Hart again, looks to dodge. Nothing there, pulls it back out. Sends it to Billy Barnes, number six. Weisel looked to pick, but it wasn't high enough. Here's Hart. Double team comes. Billy Barnes. An errant pass. Max Sloat runs it down right before he steps out. The freshman, Sloat, number 26 with the ball. Wildcats extending their defense outward, not wanting to give up a four-goal deficit. Barnes behind the cage at the X. Bounce pass. Billy Barnes. Will Weisel. Weisel dodges. Looks to pass. Finds Tommy Barnes. 1.43 to play in the opening quarter. Billy Barnes. Looks to penetrate. Slide comes as he shoots it wide. It's going to stay with the visiting SHP Gators. So Gators up 3-0. Ben Ramsey opened the scoring. And the senior, Larry Hart, has buried the last two goals to give the Gators a 3-0 lead. Here's Weisel. Hart. Barnes. Tommy Barnes up top to Weisel. He looked inside, but the pass was deflected, and it's turned over by Mark Stevens, but he's challenged, and the ball's off of SI, and the Gators get it right back. We've seen that here all afternoon so far in the early going in the first quarter. The Gators are challenging every clear, making life very, very tough for the Wildcats to get it into their offensive half of the field. So we're under a minute to play here. 44 seconds and counting. Hart. Ramsey, who had the first goal of the game. Tommy Barnes loses it. Got it back momentarily, but he's under all kinds of pressure and Hemmen gets it back. And we've got an illegal over and back call against the Wildcats goaltender. It's going to give it right back to SHP with just 16 seconds to play before the quarter break. Here's Hart. Behind to Ramsey, who lost it and scoops it right back up. Six to shoot. Billy Barnes slings it. Hemmen saves it. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. So here we are in the WCAL championship game. A rematch of the regular season finale just nine days ago. That first game went to SI. So far it's been all Gators as they lead it 3-0 here at the end of one.
Welcome back to San Francisco, California on the campus of St. Ignatius. This is the WCAL championship game, second quarter face-off about to start here. It was all Gators in that opening quarter, a 3-0 lead for visiting SHP over home, St. Ignatius. As SI wins the face-off here, and here they come on the attack, looking for their first goal of the game. Michael Sachs alongside with you, a pleasure to have you watching and listening wherever you are. Two of the best teams in boys high school across here on the entire West Coast. A rematch of last year's championship game that went SHP's way. So SI looking for revenge from that game, but SHP looking for revenge from the regular season finale just nine days ago down in Atherton. Here come the Wildcats. Looking to dodge, looking for space as the ball hits the ground. And we have a scramble. Wildcats scoop it back up. The Wildcats, very deep team. And I think you see Coach Packard here putting in some of his reserves here and giving his starters a little bit of a breather to open the second quarter. That played a factor in the game nine days ago as SI's depth was to their advantage. And there's a shot. I think that might have gone off the pipe. I'm not sure. We may have gotten a stick on it. Either way, we've got a scramble and a whistle that goes against the Gators. It remains SI ball. So here come the Wildcats in all home whites. The Gators in their visiting maroon with white helmets. There's 11, Nick Pollock with the ball in his stick, defended by Beck Anderson. Here you see number 11, Alex Bean, the junior defenseman, defending Mark Stevens. That's a matchup to watch for sure. And there you see a pass on the doorstep. Arnett Zhang wasn't able to corral it, but his teammate Stevens backs it up. Here's Niles Berry. Topher Bly, number 10, defended well. Cycle it around to Sam Parkinson, who looks to shoot. He does, but it's saved by Weeb, who has it, and looks to clear up the left sideline. A tough pass, but caught by Cav Williams, the sophomore sensation, and here he comes, initiating the offense for the Gators. He slips a check, but then goes down. A bit of a helicopter spin move, but his teammate Sloat was able to gather it on the far sideline, and we have a whistle. It's going to go against SHP, and it's going to be Wildcat ball. So the Gators had a chance, but they turn it over, and here comes SI. There's number 35, Duke Reeder. And a shot, and a score by SI for the first goal of the game, and they cut it, and it's now 3-1. to one. So at 9-10 to play in the second quarter, it's a 3-1 game as SI gets their first goal of the game as we take another look. Here's Reeder who passes it up. And there's a nice feed inside. I can't quite, 31, 37 gets the goal. So 37 is not on my roster. So apologies, I'm not sure who got that goal but it's number 37 who wasn't on the roster. But at any rate, here's Dahl Camper with the faceoff win and takes it himself. He was checked right as he shot it, and it's gonna go back to SI. At halftime, I'll figure out who number 37 in white is and let everybody out there know. Apologies for not having him on my roster, but at any rate, here come the Wildcats down two on the attack, looking to cut the lead to just one. Got eight and a half to play, about halfway through the second quarter. And here's SI on the attack again, initiating the offense in front of their bench. A deep run there, 
and a goal. Give that one to Holden Arnett Zhang, who took it himself, and it's now 3-2 SHP over SI. We're gonna take another look here. You see Zhang, Holden Arnett Zhang, just drives it from the left side. The slide's late, and he buries it past Weeb. There was a lot of traffic there in front of the senior goalie for SHP, Cody Weeb. I'm not sure he really even saw it. It's now a 3-2 lead for the Gators as the Wildcats have scored the last two goals. And here we are back at the faceoff X. Dahl Camper and Tyler King taking the faceoff that time for SI. King comes up with it, and here come the Wildcats again. Substitutions by both coaches. Again, SI coached by Chris Packard. SHP coached by Chris Rotelli. Looks to me like the Wildcats have their second string attack in right now. So Coach Packard giving his starters a breather again. Seemed like the starters play the entire first quarter and the reserves have mostly gone here in the second quarter, although the first unit was in just before that last goal. Wildcats with the ball, trailing three to two here in this championship game. Great to have you with us here on this Friday afternoon, May 10th, for the WCAL championship. Wildcats look to equalize, but a ton of pressure there in front of the net, and the Gators defense comes up with it. Will Peterson is the one that came up with it, the defenseman. And here comes Cav Williams, who throws it to Billy Barnes, who dumps it to Ben Ramsey, who shoots high, and a beautiful save by Mario Hemmen. And here comes SI back on the attack. So great save on a point-blank bullet from Ramsey. Gators challenging the clears. We have a fight for it at the mid-circle. SI comes up with it, and here come the Wildcats. That's Jack Robertson. The first unit back on the field now for Packard's Wildcats. As we have a sub come in and a whistle, and it's an illegal substitution on SI, it gives it right back to the Gators. Will Weisel on the far side of the field under heavy pressure there by 42, Kyle Edelman. One of the best defensive players in the entire Northern California region. We have a call here. I think it's a timeout by SHP. I'm not sure, let's see. The referees are gonna get together and confer. It is a timeout. Coach Rotelli took his second and final timeout of the first half. And I'll take it with him. 5.52 to play in the first half. 3-2 SHP. Welcome back live here. We're here in San Francisco, California, in the Sunset District, overlooking the Pacific Ocean at Ocean Beach. A glorious Friday afternoon here for the WCAL championship game between SI and SHP. A timeout there by head coach of SHP, Chris Rotelli, 
saves a possession for the Gators. So he has no timeouts remaining here with 5.52 to play. Coach Packard of SI has one timeout in his pocket as Billy Barnes with a beautiful juke and jive there feeds it to his brother Tommy who looks to shoot. He does, but it's just wide of the goal. Backed up by Sloat. Still SHP ball. Gators with a 3-2 lead. They started off leading 3-0, but the Wildcats have scored the last two. And it was number 37, Wells Bly, who scored the most recent goal there for the Wildcats. I said earlier he wasn't on my roster, but I've clarified it is Wells Bly, younger brother of Topher Bly. So the Bly brothers for the Wildcats, the Barnes brothers for the Gators, both play big roles as Sloat with a point-blank shot there, saved by Hemmen. And it's going to go the other way to SI. Here comes Duke Reeder. Long pole. Looks to clear up the middle. Chased by Ramsey. As we have a whistle. A lot of chatter coming from the stands here. I think Coach Packard took a timeout. His second of the half, his second and final. So both coaches now have used each of their timeouts. And we'll take one with them. It's 3-2 SHP with five minutes to play. Welcome back live here in San Francisco where we're coming out of a timeout called by SI head coach Chris Packard to save possession. I think it would have been an offsides if he hadn't taken that timeout. So it's Wildcat ball as they trail the Gators 3-2 here with exactly five minutes to play in the first half. SI in their home whites on the offense. Mark Stevens feeds it over to Sam Parkinson. Pick and pop there by Stevens. Over to Zhang, behind the cage, up top. To Barry, as we have a shot, the ball goes high up in the air. It's going to stay SI ball. Will Peterson. Number eight on D here. There's a shot and a goal by Niles Berry, the equalizer, and this game's all tied up at three. SHP came out with a three nothing lead. SI's tied it at three with the last three goals of the game as we take another look here. Penetration coming from behind the cage a nice look there, and a left-handed burial beats Weeb, beats Cody Weeb, I should say. Right there by Niles Berry, number 25, and it's all tied up at three. So three goal runs by each team here with 4.24 to play in the half. The three goals by SI, Bly, Zhang, and Barry. Ramsey and two by Hart are the goals for the Gators as Weeb looks to clear it. Took it himself, here's Bean under heavy pressure, still with the ball in his stick. Kicks it up to Ben Ramsey. Ramsey suffered a foot injury that caused him to miss about 
a month to five weeks. This is his third game back. He's played in all three playoff games. He was just using the man up on Monday, but we're seeing him here in his regular spot here this afternoon. Looks to be a lot healthier here. The sophomore, Ramsey. Here's the senior, Hart. Back to Ramsey. Over to the sophomore, Billy Barnes, who looks to drive. Here comes the double. He sends it back to Ramsey. Goes inside to Tommy Barnes, who takes a shot. Hemmen got a piece. It's backed up by number three, the senior, Pat Haggerty, who's at the X, who looks to initiate. Guarded by Reeder to Barnes. Guarded by Henry Niehaus to Hart. Guarded by Joe Celentano Jr. Here comes Larry Hart. Behind the cage to Tommy Barnes. Looking for Sloat. The freshman who had five goals in the semis on Wednesday. A great check there by SI. But Sloat gets it right back. That check by Henry Niehaus. Sloat. Slide comes. Sloat behind the cage looking. Barnes to Hart. 2.38 to play. All tied up at three. Who's going to take the 4-3 lead? Will it be the visiting Gators of SHP? Or will it be the home Wildcats of SI? Behind the cage to the senior Barnes. Looking. Probing. Patient. Haggerty. Shot. Doesn't hit. Gets it back to Tommy Barnes. Here's a pick by Ramsey. They run the double at Tommy Barnes. Up top to his brother. Over to Larry Hart. Duke readers all over the field, number 35 with the long stick in white. Here's Ben Ramsey, under two to play here. Slope. Shoots, saved by the feet of Hemmen, and we have a fight for possession. And a whistle. It's gonna go against SI here. Still SHP ball, the sophomore, Ben Ramsey, number nine. To Billy Barnes, number six. Over to Larry Hart, number two. Hart looks to dodge. Behind the cage to Haggerty. Ramsey fires, but it's deflected by Carter McCullough. Physical play there to get right in front of that laser beam of a shot. And here comes SI. 3-3 game. The closing minute of the first half here in the WCAL championship. Here comes Parkinson, guarded by Barnes. Kicks it over to Bly, and a beautiful save there by Cody Weeb on the doorstep by Wells Bly looking for his second goal of the game, but he was shut down by Weeb. Here comes SHP. A physical check there by Parkinson takes it right out of the SHP stick and there a back check by Haggerty causes a bad pass Cav Williams can't handle Will Weisel comes up with it 37 seconds here come the Gators to Haggerty and a point blank save by Hemmen goaltender shining brightly here at the end of the first half here comes SI back and forth we go a check by Weisel and a whistle. Coach Packard on the far sideline does not like the call. The Wildcat bench up in arms, but 22 seconds here as SHP takes the ball back. Haggerty and Tommy Barnes. And Larry, excuse me, Will Weisel. Weisel, guarded by Chris Carlton. Seven seconds, Tommy Barnes. The double team jars the ball loose. And that's gonna do it. A wild last two minutes here of the first half. Really a game of runs. SHP went up three nothing. SI has tied it at three. As we're gonna take a break. A crazy end of the first half in this WCAL championship game by Northern California's two top teams. It's all knighted up at three. We'll take a break and be back with you as we get underway here in the second half.
the Gators. A ground ball and the Gators come up with it. And they're on the move down the middle of the field. Here's Barnes to Ramsey. Who scored? Gators just tenacious on D and there's Larry Hart scooping it. And he's going the other way down the middle of the field. He shoots, he scores to score again and make it three nothing. We've got about 514 to play here in the first quarter. As Larry Hart shoots it over and here comes SI. There's number 35, Duke Reeder. And a shot and a score. And here's SI on the attack again, initiating the offense in front of their bench. A deep run there and a goal. SI's depth was to their advantage. And there's a shot. I think that might have gone off the pipe. I'm not. Topher Bly, number 10, defended well. Cycle it around to Sam Parkinson, who looks to shoot. He does, but it's saved by Weeb Friday afternoon, May 10th, for the WCAL championship. Wildcats look to equalize, but a ton of pressure there in front of the one that came up with it, the defenseman. And here comes Cav Williams, who throws it to Billy Barnes, who dumps it to Ben Ramsey, who shoots high and a beautiful. Over to Zhang, behind the cage, up top. To Barry, as we have a shot. Will Peterson, number eight, on D here. And there's a shot. Behind the cage to the senior Barnes. Looking, probing, patient. Haggerty, shot. Guarded by Barnes. Kicks it over to Bly, and a... Beautiful save there by Cody. Eisel comes up with it. 37 seconds. Here come the Gators to Haggerty. And a point blank save by Hemmen.
Welcome back live in San Francisco, California. I'm Michael Sachs at the WCAL Championship game. Second half about to get underway here. A tie game between the home and top seeded St. Ignatius Wildcats and the visiting and second seeded Sacred Heart Prep Gators. And here we have the opening face-off of the second half between the senior from SHP, Joey Dahlcamper. And number, I can't quite, it was 18, Hawthorne took the face-off for SI. So we have a whistle and a hold goes against SI. So it's going to be SHP ball here to open things in the second half. If you're just joining us, the Gators took a 3-0 lead. And SI has scored the last three games, as, last three goals as we have a turnover there by number 42, Kyle Edelman. And here come the Wildcats with their first possession of the third quarter. This, a rematch of nine days ago, which took place down on the campus of SHP in Atherton. That was an 8-7 win by SI. So therefore, they have the home field today as the top seed in the tournament. This a rematch from last year's championship game, which was played down in Atherton, and that was won by SHP. So all kinds of storylines here. Tied game 3-3. The first minute of the third quarter now behind us as the Wildcats take a shot there. It's wide by Jack Robertson. Still SI ball. Michael Sachs alongside with you. Pleasure to have you wherever you're watching and listening on the World Wide Web. We're thrilled to be able to live cast this game here today between two of the top teams in boys high school lacrosse on the West Coast. A shot and a save there by Weeb, and Alex Bean scoops it out of the air, and here comes Paul Barton down the left sideline for the Gators. Their second possession of the game, uh, I should say of the second half, the first possession was a quick turnover. Here's Hart over to Tommy Barnes, two seniors as Will Weisel comes in. Just behind him is the younger Barnes brother. So offensive substitutions for Coach Chris Rotelli and the Gators. Some defensive subs coming in for Coach Chris Packard and the Wildcats. Here's Larry Hart, who leads the scoring for SHP with two goals. Here's Billy Barnes. Defended by Parkinson. Barnes spins, shoots, well defended as the slide came and forced a bad shot saved by Hemmen, and the Wildcats look to clear. There's Topher Bly coming in off the sideline in a bolt of speed. Dumps it down, couldn't be handled. Ground ball, scramble. Larry Hart comes up with it for SHP, and he's racing down the left sideline. Here comes Hart to Ramsey. To Tommy Barnes. Will Weisel, number 12, guarded by Stevens. And a shot there by Sloat. Beats Hemmen. The freshman's on the board. And SHP has a 4 3 lead. Max Sloat, the freshman star for the Gators. He had five goals in the semis on Wednesday. He gets on the board for the first time today and gives his team a lead. As we take another look here. We had subs coming in for both teams. Weisel picks it up, dumps it. Great look to Sloat, who buries it past Hemmen and gives SHP the one-goal lead. So that curbs the tide on the 3 nothing run by SI. And here's the face-off between Dahlkamper and then that 17. Tyler King in for SI as we have a big hit. Coach Rotelli irate on the far sideline giving it to the official. Did not like the call. It goes to SI. So here's SI ball down one goal. Nine minutes to play. The intensity ratcheting up. It was a very intense ending to the first half and that has carried over here to the second half as you would expect here as we get closer and closer to championship time. Parkinson. Peyton St. Jem, number 44. Stevens over to Parkinson to St. Jem. Excuse me, that's not St. Jem. 
There's number 10 with a shot and a score. The elder Bly brother, Topher Bly, joins his brother on the scoreboard and ties it up at four. Topher Bly, the senior, finds the back of the net for the Wildcats. And we have a tie game once again. There you see a dodge and a dish. Bly with time and room beats the senior goalie for the Gators, Cody Weeb. And once again, this game is tied. 8.28 to go here in the third quarter. It's going to be a face-off between King in white and Dahl Camper in maroon for the Gators. So 4-4 four, four your score here in the WCAL championship between SI and SHP. A wild scramble, and the call goes against SHP. The Gator bench very upset the last two calls. But here come the Wildcats in white. St. Ignatius on their home turf looking to avenge the championship game lost from a year ago. The Gators in their visiting Maroon looking to avenge their loss from just nine days ago. SI settles into their half court set. Defended there. Beck Anderson, 33 in Maroon on D. Behind the cage goes Liam McGannon. Up top to Wells Bly. Bly finds Barry and a nice save there by Weeb. After getting beat just a moment ago, he comes up with a big save to keep this game tied at four. An errant pass there intended for Billy Barnes the sophomore couldn't handle it, and it's back to SI here on the move. Barry. Stevens. Checked there by Cav Williams. Stevens over to Barry. Barry behind the cage. Up top to Wells Bly. Parkinson. Topher Bly. Defended by Peterson. Parkinson. A shot there by Stevens and a great save high by Weeb. A great save off the stick of Mark Stevens who fired a laser at the net. Game remains tied at four. 6-10 to play in the third quarter. 4-4 four, four your score. Here come the Gators. That was John Carter. And the call goes against the Gators that time. I think Larry Hart was guilty there. I think it was an offsides call. At any rate, it goes back to SI possession as they look to break this 4-4 tie. Stevens over to Parkinson. Defended by Anderson. Barry defended by Barton. Wells Bly defended by Carter and back around to Parkinson. Here comes Barry to Stevens to Bly. Slide comes. That was Joey Hagen, 29. Over to Topher Bly. And a pass sails out of bounds, but it's still gonna be SI ball as they were by far the closest team to the ball where it went out of bounds. So 5.14 to play. 4-4 your score. This the WCAL championship. Down to Wells Bly on the doorstep. Stoned by Weeb. Fight for possession. And Weeb has it. Looks to clear. To Will Weisel. And the Gators are on the move. Under five to play. Weisel. Defended viciously by Topher Bly. Beck Anderson. As Beck Anderson goes off and Coach Rotelli is going to sub offense for defense. Here's Billy Barnes who shoots. And Hemmen makes a nice save. 
covers up the five hole and keeps this game tied at four with 4.30 to play in the third. Up the field, a great outlet pass to McCullough. McCullough to Wells Bly, defended by Carter. There's Nick Pollock, number 11, who throws it to Jackson Kane. Here's Pollock, subs on for SI as Wells Bly shoots and scores and gives the Wildcats a 5-4 lead with 4-10 to play in the third quarter. A great goal there by Wells Bly, his second of the game, and SI retakes the lead as we take another look. Wells Bly, time and room, and a mid to high shot beats Weeb, and that's a huge goal. The younger Bly brother, Wells Bly, second goal of the game. Both Bly brothers on the board for SI, and the Wildcats now have the one goal lead as we go back to the faceoff X. So the Bly brothers account for the last two goals for the Wildcats. Cav Williams scoops the ground ball off the faceoff. Defended by Kyle Edelman. Two long poles going at it. Edelman with the check and a whistle. Coach Rotelli got the timeout before the check. So SHP will keep possession, but I'll take a timeout with him. It's 5-4 SI over SHP. Welcome back live here in San Francisco, California in the Sunset District on the campus of San Ignatius. Coming out of a timeout in this WCAL championship game, Coach Chris Rotelli, the head coach of the SHP Gators, took his first timeout. He has one left. He took it to keep possession. The Gators down 5-4 with the ball. There you see number five, Joe Sonsini, to the freshman. Number 26, Max Sloat, defended by Connor Flaherty. Sloat, shot saved by Hemmen, backed up by Tommy Barnes, Sonsini, senior, over to Billy Barnes who swings it to Larry Hart, defended by Colin Niehaus, Barnes, Sonsini, dodges, slide comes, Tommy Barnes at the X, Larry Hart, Billy Barnes, who looked for his older brother down at the doorstep, but it was defended and deflected, and Billy Barnes scoops it for SHP. Under three to play in the third quarter. SI leads SHP 5-4 here. Championship game of the WCAL Boys Lacrosse Tournament. Barnes. Double team comes. Devin Enos all over Barnes there. Ben Ramsey comes up with it. Thinks about a shot, but thinks better of it. Now another ground ball off a check by Duke Reeder. Reeder comes up with it. But he's got a long way to go to clear it. 
He gives it to his goalie, Hemmen, who sends it up field. Here comes Niehaus across the midline. So great defense there by SI, and the Wildcats have another possession. Substitutions coming in for Coach Packard's Wildcats. Steven sends it behind the net. Joey Hagen, number 29 in white. There you see the short stick defensive player, Beck Anderson, on D, on Jack Robertson. Robertson shoots, a save by Weeb, a real nice save. Both gold goalies are playing great right now. So Weeb wins the race for possession, and SHP looks to clear with a minute 43 remaining. Paul Barton passes it to Sansini, who clears it. Here come the Gators, down one, and a whistle. It's going to go against SHP. Coach Rotelli incredulous on the far sideline. Here come the Wildcats. SI ball again off the turnover by the Gators. 125 to play in the third. Henry Niehaus races off. Topher Bly comes on for Coach Packard's offense. Sam Parkinson. Defended by Williams. Hagen. Wells Bly, the junior Bly brother, the younger Bly brother. Leads the scoring for SI with two goals. His older brother has one. Stevens defended by Bean. Hagen. Checked by Peterson. And there's a shot by Parkinson, saved by Weeb. Race for possession. And it's SHP ball. That could have gone either way, but they give it to Weeb and the Gators. 37 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Gators with the ball in their stick down by one. Cav Williams looks to clear. Defended heavily by Wells Bly. He takes it across the midline. Takes a check but bounces right off. Feeds it to Ramsey, who's guarded closely by McCullough. Tommy Barnes, double team, shoots anyway, and he scores! With one second remaining in the third quarter, Tommy Barnes ties it up at five. A big goal for the Gators, and this game is all square once again. So we're going to see a lot of replay here. This was where the Wildcats had it down at their end. Let's see if we can see the goal. Here you go, Ramsey found Tommy, and Tommy has his back to the field clock. He has no idea how much time's left, and he buries it past him. And incredible instinct there by Tommy Barnes to know that he still had a little bit of time to shoot, and that's a big goal that ties it up at five with just a second to play as we're going to have a face-off that's basically going to be meaningless here. Oh, is there 10 seconds to play? I'm sorry. I thought there was just one second to play. There's 10 seconds to play. Okay, so not a meaningless face-off. Here we go. 10 seconds to play in the third. Weisel's going to scoop it. Four seconds. Sorry, that's Larry Hart who gets it checked out of his stick. A big-time check there by... Devin Enos as the third quarter comes to a close. So Tommy Barnes with his first goal of the game, he leads SHP in scoring. His first goal of the game comes with 10 seconds left in the third to tie it at five. So we're going to take a break and catch our breath. It's 5-5 here in the WCAL championship at the end of the third quarter.
Welcome back to San Francisco, California on the campus of St. Ignatius. You are watching live the WCAL championship game between the home SI Wildcats and the visiting SHP Gators. And what a game we have for you. Tied 5-5 as we begin the fourth quarter. SHP led 3-0. SI tied it at 3. SHP took a 4-3 lead at the start of the third quarter. SI tied it at 4. Took a 5-4 lead. And Tommy Barnes, the senior captain, scored the most recent goal with 10 seconds left in the third. It was his 213th career goal, which puts him one ahead of Frankie Hatler atop the all-time SHP career goal list. As we have the faceoff here to start the fourth quarter. And a procedure call goes against SHP. Wildcats ball, they pick it up quickly and off to the races. Is Celentano Jr. looking to take the lead? A nice check there by Williams. And the goaltender, Weeb, comes up with it. Peterson back to Weeb. Long outlet pass to Carter. John Carter, the senior defenseman, to Tommy Barnes. Now the career leader in goals for the Gators. Playing his last high school game. The All-American will play at Princeton next fall. Ben Ramsey. Slope. Billy Barnes. Subs coming in. Here comes Sonsini for SHP. Slote, the freshman. Defended by Flaherty. Behind the cage to Ramsey. To Hart, who shoots. A great save by Hemmen on the low shot. Fight for possession. And it's going to be SI's ball. Tommy Barnes couldn't come up with it. He was contested there by Reeder. And Enos... Enos has been all over the field defensively lately for SI. Here comes Parkinson, who shoots high. Backed up by SI. Hagen picks it up and reinitiates the offense. A shot wide there by Parkinson. Still SI ball. 10.40 to play in the game. Every possession big now in a tied championship game. Wells Bly. Up top to Parkinson. Barry behind the cage to Hagen. Gets a pick from Bly. Defended by Carter. Back to Wells Bly. Defended by Peterson. On the doorstep to Stevens who buries it for the lead. Mark Stevens with his first goal of the afternoon. And it comes at a big moment for the Wildcats as they take a 6-5 lead with 10-11 to play. As we take another look here, Wells Bly spins behind the cage and finds Stevens a beautiful look. Stevens just a step ahead of Bean and Stevens beats Weeb for the goal. So 6-5 SI now. As we go back to the face-off X, the senior Joey Dahlkamper for SHP taking it against King for SI. Every face-off ground ball huge now. Beans tries to kick it to himself. Still loose. Still loose. And it's scooped by Flaherty of SI. SHP challenging the clear here. Here comes Edelman. Clean across the midline. And it's SI ball now. Kane. Pollock. Barry. Kane, Jackson Kane, number 23. Barry, Hagen, Wells Bly, Pollock, Kane. Here comes Barry, Niles Barry. A goal already. Kane to Barry. Ball loose. Scooped by Kane. Ball loose again off the check by Williams. Scoop by Hagen. 
Swings it. Another loose ball. Mad scramble. SI comes up with it. And a shot and a beautiful save by Weeb. Loose ball again. Intense action here in St. Ignatius with 8.30 to go in the game. A shot wide. That shot by, I believe, neat. Nope, that was a, a shot by Holden Arnett Zhang. SI still has it. Substitution coming on for Coach Packard and the Wildcats. Here's Stevens, who got a little breather after his latest goal, but he's back in there now. Hagen. Barry. Defended by Anderson. Barry. Shoots. Weeb gets a stick on it, and it gets away from him, and it's backed up by Hagen, and the Wildcats maintain possession. Under eight to play now. Topher Bly to Hagen. As Topher Bly goes to the X now for SI. Parkinson. Barry. Bly. Hagen. Gets a pick from Stevens, who takes it. Guarded by Bean, back to Hagen, to Parkinson. Guarded by Williams. Here's Barry, guarded by Anderson. Back to Parkinson. And Topher Bly, guarded by Barton. Barton all over him. Back up top to Stevens, guarded by Bean. Stevens, Parkinson. Seven minutes to go now. SI up one. Barry. Parkinson to Barry. Back at the X to Hagen. Looking, probing. Long possession here for the Wildcats. Back at the X to Hagen, who feeds it to Barry, who couldn't handle it. Cav Williams had it briefly, a scramble for the ball. It looked like Beck Anderson may have tripped Stevens there. I believe that is the call. So SI keeps it. Here's Liam McGannon in now for SI. Substitutions from Coach Packard and the Wildcats. Hagen. Fires it on net, but it misses left and wide. Backed up by Topher Bly. And now we have a whistle and a conferral by the referees. Let's see what the call is. A big call here. 6.08 to play. Everyone waiting to see what the call is. A lengthy conference. And it looks like they're not going to call anything. It's going to maintain, SI maintains possession. So here we go. Hagen, defended by Peterson. A dodge, a shot, and a score. A two-goal lead now for the Wildcats of SI as Joey Hagen Finds the back of the net. 7-5. St. Ignatius leads Sacred Heart Prep. So that was a very long possession by SI. I think both the SI offense and the SHP defense were getting fatigued there. And a nice dodge by Hagen. The slide by Bean comes, but Hagen beats it anyway. His first goal of the game, and it's a big one. SI leads now 7-5 with 5.55 to play in the game. So a big face-off coming. The Wildcats had the ball there for over three minutes of game time. Big face-off between King and Dahl Camper. Will Weisel tries to come up with it. A whistle. It goes against SHP. SI ball. SHP struggling to win the face-off ground balls right now. Here's Celentano Jr. in a timeout 
by Chris Packard in his SI Wildcats, his first of the half. He has one left. SHP has one left. SHP trails 7-5 to SI with 5.38 remaining in the game. We'll be right back. Welcome back to San Francisco, California on the campus of St. Ignatius. Michael Sachs here with you. 538 remaining in this WCAL championship game between St. Ignatius and Sacred Heart Prep. SI with the lead in the ball. Two goal lead now off the most recent goal by Joey Hagan. Here's Parkinson. SI has had possession the last four or five minutes almost exclusively. There's a nice feed there, and a shot by Robertson, and a big time save by Cody Weeb. And here comes Will Weisel down the middle to Tommy Barnes, who shoots and scores, and it's a big one. It cuts it to a 7-6 deficit for the Gators with 5-18 to play. That's the Gators' first goal in quite some time. Tommy Barnes, the senior captain, has the last two for the Gators, and it's now 7-6 SI. So a big save there by Weeb. He gets it out to Weisel, who finds Tommy Barnes, who beats Hemmen for the goal. 7-6 is Tyler King for SI, and Joey Dahlkamper for the Gators go back to the face-off X. We've got a packed house now. School is out. People have left work early. Intensity on both sides as Dahlkamper wins the faceoff, his first win in a while. Gives it to Sloat, who's chased down in the corner by two Wildcats and a whistle. Did Rotelli get the timeout? I think he did. I think that's the call. It is. So Chris Rotelli, the head coach of the Gators, takes his second and final timeout of the game to maintain possession. He's down one, 5.02 to play. We'll be right back. Welcome back to St. Ignatius in the Sunset District in San Francisco, California. A sun splash Friday afternoon. 
for this WCAL championship by the, between the two top teams in the region. SHP in their ro road maroons, SI in their home whites. Chris Rotelli, the head coach of SHP, just took his second and final timeout to maintain the possession. So here come the Gators down one. Their senior star, Tommy Barnes, looking to get free. He's getting shut by the goalie out of that timeout. And SI doubled the corner in slow and get the turnover, a big turnover in a big time defensive call by Chris Packard and the Wildcats. And here comes Parkinson. So a huge turnover there by the SI defense. Gets the ball back. They have a one goal lead now with 4.30 to play. Stevens over to Wells Bly. Junior, his older brother Topher. Both Bly brothers committed to play lacrosse at Brown University in Rhode Island. Arnett Zhang. Bly back to Zhang over his head. He kicks it back in. Billy Barnes can't come up with it. Ball still loose. Shuffle back in there. And SI comes up with the ground ball on Parkinson. That was a wild sequence. Here comes Parkinson. Fires it wide. But Bly is the nearest man to it. And it remains SI ball. 3.51 to play. These are big moments. Championship on the line. Two top teams in Northern California. Big time rivalry. 3.40 to play. SI with the ball and a one goal lead. Zhang. Topher Bly. Topher Bly. Topher Bly. A shot wide. Weeb came out to stop him. Gators ball as they try to clear. Weisel. Check there by Wells Bly. Knocks it loose. Billy Barnes to Barton. But Wells Bly is all over the field. A wild check there by Wells Bly on Paul Barton. Bodies hitting the turf all over the field. A wild sequence, and it's SI ball. Paul Barton vehemently disagrees, but here's Topher Bly. SI up one with three to play, and the ball. You can cut the tension with a knife here, ladies and gentlemen. You can see both coaching staffs, both benches, the fans on both sides of these stands, a lot at stake here in the waning moments. Parkinson. Pollock. Back to Parkinson. Barry. To Hagen. I'm sorry, that was Kane, not Hagen. There's Kane, number 23 at the X. Kane. Defended by Billy Barnes. Over to Stevens. Stevens dumps it down, and a big goal there by Topher Bly. Stevens finds Bly, who beats Weeb and gives SI an 8-6 lead with 2.08 to play. As we take another look, the Gators' defense was scrambling, trying to get the ball out of SI's stick. Stevens turns the corner. Finds Bly by himself behind the defense who goes low and beats Cody Weeb for the eighth goal of the game for SI. And it's a big one, obviously. Now a two-goal lead for the Wildcats as we go back to the faceoff X. So Topher Bly, the senior, gives SI a two-goal lead. Big faceoff ground ball here. Here come the Gators. Over to Tommy Barnes, who makes a man miss, and a nice save there by Hemmett on the bounce shot by Barnes. Barnes backs up his own shot, guarded by Reeder. 150 to play. Gators down two. Tommy Barnes. To his brother, back to Larry Hart. Hart. To Billy Barnes. Hart. Billy Barnes, back to Hart. 
Gators settling into their half field set. Hart looks to dodge. Billy Barnes. 123 to play. Gators down two. Ground ball off a check there by Flaherty. Barnes gets it back. Sends it across the field to Hart. Hart to Weisel. Back to Hart. To Tommy Barnes. Slide comes to let Hart. Shoots wide. Backed up by Ramsey. Hemmen was all over it, but that ball wouldn't have hit the net anyway. It was wide right. As Coach Packard takes a timeout defensively to set his defense up here with 103 to play. SI leads SHP 8-6. We'll be right back. We're back live here at St. Ignatius in San Francisco, California. Chris Packard, the head coach of the SI Wildcats, just used his final timeout on defense. The SHP Gators have the ball down to 103 to play in this WCAL championship game. The senior captain, Tommy Barnes, will start it here. Number seven behind the cage, guarded by Duke Reeder. Gators need a goal. One minute to play in the game now. Hart, guarded by Stevens. And that ball's deflected by Reeder. Pass intended for Ramsey. Ramsey will start it with 48 seconds left. As we have a whistle, the clock was still running as the ball went out of bounds there. I think that's what the referees are going to talk to the clock operator about on the far sideline. Yeah, they're going to put three seconds back on the clock. So we have it at 51 seconds. Let's see if they can reset that here at the stadium. J.B. Murphy Field on the campus of St. Ignatius in the Sunset District in San Francisco. And they do. So 52 seconds officially. Here we go. Gators down two. And the ball. Tommy Barnes. Larry Hart. Ben Ramsey. 36 seconds. Reader all over Ramsey. Tommy Barnes looks to dodge. Gets a pick. Looks to shoot. No room. Barnes. Ball loose. And scooped by Stevens. And that's a huge play. That could do it. 16 seconds. SI with the ball and a two goal lead. SI is going to clear it. And that's going to do it. The St. Ignatius Wildcats exact revenge on the SHP Gators from a year ago. And the WCAL Boys Lacrosse Championship is won by the St. Ignatius Wildcats as they storm the field in front of their home crowd. Chris Packard and the Wildcats have done it again, avenging their loss from a year ago to Chris Rotelli and the SHP Gators by the final score of eight to six. SIBSHP eight seven nine days ago in Atherton. It's eight six here in the championship game today. Fantastic game. 
intense throughout. Tremendous plays by both sides, but in the end, the SI Wildcats win it 8-6. It's been a pleasure broadcasting games all season. We thank you so much for joining us. We regret that Greg Weigel couldn't be here today. Greg, hope you're feeling better. Get better soon, buddy. Wish you had been here for this one today, but it was a pleasure having all of you with us. I'm Michael Sachs. We'll see you next season. We're out from San Francisco, California.